Good morning, Zoners. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I quite like the sound of that intro. It's not bad, is it? Um, right, I've got to get this right this time. Um, I've had one hell of a job getting this uh, phone camera to work this morning. Um, I think it's on its way out. So if anybody's got any suggestions um, for a decent, small sort of camcorder uh, that is not going to require a ton of setting up, I just want something that I can switch on um, and just basically hit record. I can't be doing with shutter speeds and all that sort of thing because I don't know anything about it. Um, so if anybody's got any suggestions for something like that that isn't actually going to cost the earth, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to keep on going with this phone as long as I can. But um, the job I've had this morning is just, it, it, I think it's on its way out. Um, I could use the my actual mobile phone, but it's, it's so clogged up with um, videos and photos and crap of all sorts. I don't think I'd get another one on it. So, um, yeah, if anybody's got any suggestions, just uh, um, sort of message them over to me. And anything that's preferably available on Amazon um, that's not going to cause the amount of trouble that the last one that I bought did which I've still got um, and I'm probably going to end up either giving it away or selling it for next to nothing um, because it's, a, it's of no use whatsoever um, but preferably a, a branded name um, I say not cost the earth but I know you get what you pay for so if, if it is um, you know a little bit more expensive than I would like to spend I probably will go for it so any, any suggestions just let me know I would appreciate it um, this weather is doing my head in. I can't wait for it to wait, um, to warm up. Me and the dog have sort of holed ourselves up in here for the morning because it is the warmest room in the house. Um, she's right next to me on the chair here. I'll just zoom round ever so slowly and give you a little look at her. There is she. She's on the chair there. You can see her slightly. Maya. Maya. Hello. <laughs> Say hello to you to your public. There you go. That's her. Right, oh God. <laughs> okay, right, um, let me just bring my notes up, just bear with me a second, I've got them on screen again, uh, which is a lot easier than writing them down, I couldn't possibly have written this lot down. Um, I'll start with some of the comments on last week's video. Um, I had a little bit of a, a thing about the Passion of the Christ um, last week, basically saying that um, I was sort of deciding whether to watch the strong uncut version or the, um, the slightly censored version with a lot of the, uh, the heavier violence taken out. Um, Jason had something to say about that. Um, I've never seen Passion of the Christ, but if you watch the pussy version, <laughs> nicely put, Jace, then you'll be wondering what you may have missed. I'm fairly certain I know exactly what I will have missed. Um, you may as well go straight in and watch it how it was meant to be watched. Also, you'll be contradicting yourself if you watch the cut version, and you are absolutely right. Um, if there's one thing I'm forever ranting on about, it's um, movies that are censored, cut, or whatever, for violence or what the hell ever. Uh, so yeah, you are absolutely right. So it will be um, the strong graphic version that I do watch um, when I can work up the nerve to actually uh, put it on and watch it. Uh, but you are quite right with that. Um, also, you made a little comment about the, um, let me get this right, calling the members Zonettes. <laughs> Zonettes. And Guy said, sound like it could be a high school, ch was, was it you that said that? Oh yeah, you said, sounds like, a, oh, well, I said, it's, it sounds like a high school girls cheerleading group, which it does. And Guy said, Tony and the Zonettes, you could be a 60s beat group. Don't think so. <laughs> um, I also mentioned last week that I'd lost... A video um, that I'd seen um, on the group uh, that somebody posted um, that was a little bit on PC and I was dying to watch it and I still haven't watched it yet um, but Rick uh, you dropped me a line and said great vid Tony mate thanks for that um, me and Mike were talking about the lefties the other day nicely poor <laughs> I always lose followers every time I upload a video people don't people don't have to watch my channel for long to find something to be offended by good on you um, it's not my style, obviously, but I, I do absolutely completely appreciate the fact that you don't give a fuck about these people. And I, I, I am actually the same. Um, if I had got something to say, 
uh, it wouldn't be very offensive, but if I had got something to say and I lost a couple of subscribers, then so bloody be it. Um, but I will have a watch of that. Uh, you even told me roughly where the rant started. So um, I've got it bookmarked. I will have a look at that and I'll be having a, a chat about that one that, later on. Mike, the real fifth Beatle, you said screw the woke mob tone. <laughs> here, bloody here. I, you, you know my views on this. I have absolutely no time for these people. Um, they're just an absolute bloody nightmare, constantly telling us what we should and shouldn't be watching and what we should and shouldn't be laughing at. And, oh, God. So, uh, Dave, um, loving the uh, the Doormat Diaries. Um, you dropped me uh, a message. Glad you're enjoying Doormat Diaries, Tony. I will keep them going, but don't have anything being delivered in the foreseeable future. Uh, rest assured, I think the Empire will keep all future deliveries safe. Um, <laughs> I love that. The uh, the doormat that you've got for one, um, I think it's May the Force Be With You, is it? And um, uh, rather than the little elf uh, sitting on your packages now, you've now got a little stormtrooper. <laughs> so, <laughs> I really like that. Um, and you said, now then, with Jackie Chan, because I was talking about Jackie Chan movies and how much I'd enjoyed um, Supercop, Police Story 3, um, and that I wouldn't mind actually uh, taking in a few more uh, Jackie Chan movies. Uh, now then, with Jackie Chan, you're talking my language. A couple of really easy comedies to get stuck into would be my favourite, Dragons Forever, uh, Wheels on Meals, uh, which I think I saw a long, long time ago, um, and maybe City Hunter. Not heard of that one. Um, if you want something to hit you in the fields, maybe try Heart of Dragon. Something to show you a bit later on. Uh, something to show off some pure skill, uh, maybe the Young Master or Drunken Master. I've already put those on my wish list um, on Amazon because I think it's either Arrow or 88 Films have released both of those. Um, Guy, you also recommended Rumble in the Bronx. Um, I remember when this came out, I, I believe it was in the 70s, and there was one hell of a television campaign um, to do with it, advertising, advertising the fact that it was um, showing in cinemas, that kind of thing. Um, I do very much remember that one, but I don't believe I ever saw it. Um, let's see, uh, Steve Mack uh, commented last week, uh, just working exactly to the brief forgotten movies, by the way. Kevin Klein played Donald Woods and Penelope Wilton played his wife. Great score by George Fenton. I'm really looking forward to watching um, Cry Freedom again. I really enjoyed that one the first time round. Uh, you, you also went on to say Terrifier was horrific. A bit scared to watch Terrifier 2. Yeah, so am I, to be honest. Um, the more I read about Terrifier 2, the more I feel like sort of dodging it and swerving it. Um, I don't know. I, I would need to watch probably the first one again, which I, I, I think I just about got through. Um, but this one is apparently next level. Um, you do say it's ple pleased to see it selling like hotcakes in the US though, especially the 4K. Um, I'm not sure I'm up to watching it on 4K, <laughs> definitely not. Um, oh, and you're bang on with Bogdanovich, who directed the last picture show, so I, I did get something right last week. <laughs> um, Scott, now you're not on the, uh, the Facebook group. I wish you would come and join us, mate. You would absolutely have a ball with this group. You would love it. Um, there's all sorts going on. Um, but I, I know a lot of people just ain't Facebook because they just don't they just don't do it. Um, I was talking to somebody during the week who's who's never ever ever bothered with Facebook. He's a young chap, and it's it, it's like he just can't be doing with the uh, the gossipy bullshit that goes with it. So he he, he just won't have anything to do with it. So I do kind of get it. Um, but it, I, I saw your post on Instagram, which I hope you don't mind. I did actually share it with the group. Um, and it was great to see that you'd finally watched Ghost Watch and you'd enjoyed it. Um, I think you said that it did creep you out. Um, just imagine how it felt 30 years ago, mate, when it first screened. Um, as I've said before, the night I watched it uh, was the night it was broadcast on BBC One, or was it BBC Two? Um, and I tuned in uh, sort of five, ten minutes into it thought it was the genuine article, thought it was real, and it literally scared me rigid. Um, I was hooked on it. Um, and obviously now I've got, uh, I've got it on DVD and I've also got it on Blu-ray. Um, I did watch it again recently and it didn't have quite the same effect, but it was still very, very unnerving. 
Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased that you finally got to watch it um, and that you really, really enjoyed it. I was, I was pleased to read that. Um, Guy, you put a post on about Terminator 2 Judgment Day being released uh, in a 30th anniversary 4K box set. Um, it looks absolutely gorgeous, but you are doing mine and Chris's wallets no favours whatsoever <laughs> with this. I can't remember how much it was, um, but uh, it, it did look nice. And it, it, it is only a matter of time before I hit the buy it now button on that. Um, let's see. Uh, Rick, Banana Splits the movie. I believe it's been about for about two or three years. Um, I first heard about it a while ago. I haven't watched it um, for no other reason than I just haven't had the, well, just never bothered with it. Um, but I think I should probably take a look at it in the light of all these uh, Winnie the Pooh films, the Bambi film, um, and all the other um, ones that are coming out, which are of the same ilk. Um, the Banana Splits, obviously I grew up with them. Um, I think they started in the late 60s. Um, BBC one showed them every school holiday near enough in the 70s we had the banana splits uh robinson crusoe why don't you white horses uh, the flashing blade loads of shows but the banana splits just sticks out in my mind because you had cartoons in there as well the arabian nights uh the three musketeers i can't remember was it micro adventures um which was the family that shrunk down to the size of ants or something like that. Um, I believe it was partly the inspiration for Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, um, which doesn't surprise me. And they also had a live action serial called, uh, was it Action Island or Danger Island, something like that. It was just a cracking program. It was just 30 minutes of pure magic. Um, so yes, I do remember the banana splits very well and I'm very curious to see what they've done with it. Um, Jason, I think you said you'd seen it um, and it wasn't bad, so it's, it's, that will do as a recommendation from you. So I'm going to take that one in. Um, loving your collection, Rick. Uh, the Aliens, ultra rare colonial marines and collectible eagle moss figurines. They look amazing, mate. Um, and that alien head, superb. Is, have you actually got a room where you display these things, where they are, where it is just those in there? Because it looks like you need one. Um, but that's quite a collection you've got there. And also loved that um, Dog Soldiers 4K uh, box set that you won in Scott's competition. Um, if it's the same competition that I entered last time, I, I think I bought, um, uh, what was it, Midnight Cowboy on Criterion, and I believe there was also a Midnight Cowboy book, uh, the, the making of. I think that's what I spent mine on. Um, but that 4K box set looks absolutely brilliant to the to the point where I've actually added that um, to my wish list. And damn you for this, American Werewolf in London <laughs> was on the same page um, in basically the same kind of a box set uh, with books, art cards, posters, all sorts. And it looks amazing. Now the two total 80 quid. Um, Come the end of this month and payday, there's a very good possibility I could also be showing those two off. Um, but there are some very nice 4K box sets coming out now. They really do seem to take good care with um, what they put in them. Um, so I, I'd be more interested more than anything. I mean, I've seen the film countless times, but I'd be very interested to read the books um, that go with them um, because they're 60 pages. So, I mean, they're, they're quite substantial. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I shall be uh, almost certainly invested in both of those. Uh, Mark, Charlton Heston in There's a Rhino Loose in the City, a Rodney Trotter production. I don't get it. <laughs> what am I missing? I know Rodney Trotter, obviously, only fools and horses. I know Charlton Heston. But what is the connection between rhinos loose in the city? Please explain it to me. I'm, I'm probably going to read it and think, oh, you thick twat, what you think? Yeah, but, yeah, but I, honestly, I don't get it, mate, so you, you need to explain that one to me. Um, I've also got notes here of stuff that I've not actually done. <laughs> there was a new feature that I was going to introduce called What Am I Watching? Um, and I might start it next week, actually, which is basically where I will trim out a piece of dialogue from a movie and just play it in the background and you tell me what it is that I've actually got on. Um, 
it's a bit of an extension of um, quote encounters, uh, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll see if I can find one uh, next week to get the ball rolling with that. I was also going to do my top 10 movies I'm looking forward to in 2023, but I haven't had time to do that either. So I'm going to sort of throw those over to next week. Um, I've been watching one or two videos on the, the movies that are coming out this year, and there are some blinders. There are some absolute blinders. There's a couple that are out already. Obviously, Megan, um, I'm looking forward to watching, or M. Freegan, as it's been called, uh, due to the E being like that, a three. So that's one. Um, there have also been trailers and uh, reviews that I've been listening to on various podcasts this week for a movie called Babylon. Um, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. It's three hours and ten minutes long, um, and it's supposed to be a debauched tale of old Hollywood um, set uh, way back in the 20s and 30s when Hollywood was emerging from silent films and coming into talkies. Um, and it's supposed to be absolutely amazing. Um, there are supposed to be some stunning, very controversial visuals in there. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, but what I'm going to do next week, I'm going to go through um, the calendar for next year and see what else is coming out and see what else uh, I'm really looking forward to. So that'll be next week. Uh, Chris, your War and Western thread. Um, 1917, I haven't watched yet. High Noon, I've seen a couple of times. Really, really enjoy it. Gary Cooper. Um, I did not know about the subliminal messages about hating Hollywood. Um, I'm going to look into that, definitely. I've also made a mental note of that one, so I'm going to be looking into that. Uh, that's the first I've ever heard of that one. I didn't even know they knew how to do subliminal messaging back then, but obviously they did. Um, I also did cock up last week, another mistake. Um, I believe it was on uh, one of the Cult Lords video, JR and Dane. Um, I refuse. Um, let's see, I... Uh, oh, oh, just bear with me a second. I referred to the movie Gale as The Gale, uh, but it's actually called Gale, Stay Away From Oz. Um, really looking forward to it. This is another one that I'm hoping is going to come out this year. It, I mean, if the trailer's out, it's obviously been, um, it's obviously been finished. Um, but I've been checking and there's no release date as yet. I've checked everywhere and I can't find any sign of a release date. So um, as soon as I find anything on that movie, Gale, um, I will um, let you know because there's one or two people have shown interest in that one um, as a very dark, different um, sort of take on The, uh, on the Wizard of Oz. Um, Let's see, all the movies that I talked about last week, uh, there were quite a few that I mentioned that I'd been watching. Um, I did rather whiz through them a little bit quick. Um, again, I came to about the last three, four minutes and needed to uh, step on the accelerator a bit. So uh, all those movies I've actually kept down by the side of me um, and I will be talking about them in, de in detail um, on the end of month. Uh, sort of review, which I'm really looking forward to doing. Um, I've watched quite a few uh, movies over the last few weeks, and there's still a couple of weeks to go. Um, so I should be able to stretch that to a good half hour, I should think, um, just talking about the movies that I have actually watched. Um, so yes, that'll be uh, probably in about two weeks' time, something like that. Um, and I'll probably uh, publish that one on uh, a Saturday morning. Um, and you'll also get the uh, obviously the Sunday service as well um, right a few, few little bits of news um, there is a Michael Jackson biopic um, going into production soon I mean it had to happen um, sooner or later somebody was bound to jump on it um, we've just had the release of um, the Whitney Houston biopic uh, that, that came out a couple of weeks ago it's come out to mixed reviews um, some people like it, some people didn't like it. Um, I think it's called I Want to Dance with Somebody, which was the uh, title of one of her songs. Um, but apparently it's going down quite well. Um, and now we've got um, a Michael Jackson uh, biopic coming. Um, I had a couple of comments this week basically saying, are they going to be swerving the, um, the abuse uh, allegations? Um, and from what I've read, no, they're not. They're going to be handled sensitively, um, not the way the documentary Return to Neverland did, um, which was just 
horrible, horrible viewing. Um, but yes, apparently they are going to address um, that particular subject, um, but obviously a lot more, um, a lot more sensitively than they uh, they've done it in the past. Um, but I'm quite looking forward to seeing that. I would, I mean. He had quite a life. I would imagine that's going to be two, two and a half hours long. I, I can't see that being a, a 90 minute thing. Um, and the big news for me this week, Sean S. Cunningham, who um, directed, I believe, was it directed or produced Friday the 13th, is rebooting Friday the 13th and House. Um, now, Friday the 13th, as you know, is one of my favourite horror films, if not the favourite horror film. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with that. We have another Friday the 13th movie since 2009 um, when they rebooted it the last time. Um, and to be fair, it wasn't bad. It was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, but the way horror movies look now, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with it. Now House, I saw it... Oh, a long, long time ago. It was decades ago when it first came out. And I don't remember being overly impressed with it i think the only reason i watched it i think this was another one that was directed by sean s cunningham so i was expecting something along um the friday the 13th um sort of lines um and it wasn't that um if i remember right there was a vein of humor that ran right through the middle of it um which i wasn't used to seeing on horror films at the time um but i am looking forward to seeing what um he's going to do with it um, nowadays um, I do need to watch the original um, again because it, it, it's been many many years since I watched it uh, so I do need to take that in again and I believe Arrow have done a very very nice um, blu-ray of that uh, with a ton of special features it might even be a box set of all how many were there were there three or four um, I know one was called the horror show uh, I can't remember what the second one was, um, but I, I definitely wouldn't mind a look at those. So I, I may, um, again, go onto Amazon and just see uh, how much the uh, the box set's going for and uh, treat myself to that, especially if we've got um, a reboot coming. Um, and the final bit of news, I don't know much about this. I only heard a little bit about this yesterday. Channing Tatum, um, i.e. Magic Mike, uh, is to start in a remake of Hold on to your hats, Ghost. Yeah, 1990, Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore. Absolute classic, Whoopi Goldberg. Um, now, before you all throw your hands up in horror and I hear howls of protest coming from all over the place, um, I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, I wouldn't say it's one of my favourite movies ever. I have seen it two or three times and really enjoyed it. Um, but I know there are people out there that absolutely adore this movie um, and the news that they're actually going to remake it uh, is not going to come as good news at all. Um, I think Channing Tatum could do a fair old job of it. I saw him uh, recently in a movie called Dog on Amazon. Um, I think it's the first movie I have seen of his and it was actually quite good. Uh, so. I don't see any reason why they couldn't pull it off, but it's it, it's yet another of those. Why on earth would you want to remake something that was perfect in the first place? Um, they're already talking about um, amending the uh, Whoopi Goldberg character to make her more PC. And as soon as I read that, I thought, oh, for fuck's sake, here we go again. Um, but we'll see. We shall see how it goes. Um, but mixed feelings on that one. Um, I shall wait to see how it shapes up but I'm not really holding that much hope on that one but we'll see uh, midco toys or toy planet or freak treats um is now open has anybody actually been yet it only opened yesterday um i am definitely going to have a look uh probably the first week in february i shall pop down there one morning and just have a wander around um I shall go straight for the horror section. I know nothing about manga or any of the other bits and pieces that I've seen advertised. Um, but I know there are a lot of people that are into that sort of thing. They've had some very good feedback on the, the Facebook page. Um, so I would imagine that place is going to do very, very well. Um, 
so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing uh, what what they've actually got in but has anybody actually been down there yet it looks amazing there was a little video went up yesterday um i think you popped on jason it, it looks amazing so yes i will be going to uh, to check that out at some point uh quickly run through forgotten movies for this week we've had some corkers this week again kevin costner three thousand miles to graceland uh I've heard of it but never seen it. Mr. Brooks, somebody recommended this to me uh, probably about six months ago. Um, and now I've seen it on there, I'm going to see if I can get hold of a copy. Uh, the Untouchables, brilliant movie. Never get bored of that one. Criminal, never heard of it. Three Days to Kill, not familiar. Rumour has it, uh, afraid not. <laughs> Night Shift, that's one of Steve McCartney's because I've never heard of that one. <laughs> the Highwayman, superb take on the Bonnie and Clyde story. Um, so yes I enjoyed that one Leonardo DiCaprio uh, let's see Jason and Chris went for the same one Critters 3 um, never seen it <laughs> The Aviator uh, not familiar with it I know it's supposed to be very good but I've not seen it The Quick and the Dead one that I wouldn't mind watching um, I do like the odd western um, This Boy's Life that was my choice um, superb movie with uh, Robert De Niro who is as sinister as hell in that uh, the Basketball Diaries, saw it a long time ago, really, really good. Um, total Eclipse, saw that a long time ago. Good movie, but can't remember much about it. Um, Clint Eastwood, now you're talking my language. Bronco Billy, that was my choice, loved it. And I believe that's the movie he met his wife, Sandra Locke, on. Um, Space Cowboys, uh, saw it a long time ago, really enjoyed it. Two Meals for Sister Sarah, one of his early westerns, around about 1971. Um, haven't seen it. Uh, let's see, Bloodwork, Bloodwork, yeah, not seen it. Ambush at Cimarron Pass, that's got to be one of Steve's. <laughs> Cry Macho, not seen it yet, but do want to. Mel Gibson, I'm going quite fast again because I've got something else to show you in a minute. Uh, Mel Gibson, The River, never seen it. The Patriot, seen it, loved it. Conspiracy Theory, yes. The Beaver, curious about that one. Is it about a talking beaver? <laughs> Attack Force said... Ransom, yes. Payback, yes. Demi Moore, Wisdom. That was another one of those movies that sat on the DVD shelf, on the VHS shelf at the library. Never, ever went anywhere. I watched it after a few months and loved it. Um, Forsaken, never heard of it. The Seventh Sign. Saw it a long time ago, really enjoyed it. St. Elmo's Fire, loved it. Blame it on Rio, didn't know she was in that. Flawless, Michael Caine, uh, never seen it. Samuel L. Jackson, uh, let's see, 1408, batshit crazy film, but really good. Soul Men, never seen it. Jumper, uh, no, 51st State, no, but I've heard good things about it. Basic, no, Ragtime, Steve. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones, uh, Small Soldiers, Double Jeopardy, Cobb, Under Siege, Volcano. The only one I've seen of those is Volcano and Small Soldiers. Now, I'm a little bit behind with these. I will be catching up with it. Um, a little later, I shall pop um, on my choices for the days that I've missed. Um, Jason said, I struggled with two more actors um, when he was compiling this. John Wayne and Steve McQueen. They have 228 acting credits between them, and I've seen zero of anything they have done. I've seen 30 minutes of Bullet, but that bored me shitless. Sorry, Bullet fans. Wash your mouth out, Mr. Parry. Bullet is brilliant with the best car chase ever around the streets of San Francisco. Um, right, I'll very quickly show these off. It's a few new films that I've uh, picked up. Oh, sorry. I've got glass coasters now. I'm going to break one one day. I can see it coming. First one, Cry Freedom. I've been dying to see this again for ages, especially since we were talking about it the other week. This is a story of um, a black activist, Steve Biko, um, and his friendship with Donald Woods, played by Kevin Klein. Um, amazing soundtrack, um, so I'm told. Um, so I need to watch that one. You see, I do take notice of you, guy. The Aviator. It's not even out the cellophane yet, but I'm going to be watching that uh, when I can find two and three quarter hours, or is it three hours? Nearly three hours. So that that's going to be a morning's worth. Uh, and finally, Dave, you're going to love this one. Heart of Dragon. Um, I'm starting on a Jackie Chan um, journey. Uh, just one a month and um, I thought I'd start with this one because this is one that you recommended um, as more of a, a character piece than a martial arts one so I thought we'll, we'll give that a go see how we go with that um, and I'll be reviewing that one probably on the first um, Saturday thingy when I do it 
um, because I'm going to watch that one ASAP. Right, I'm going to disappear, folks, because we are rapidly coming up to 30 minutes. Thanks ever so much for joining me again. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, also, subscribe, like and share, all that stuff. Um, that would be very much appreciated. I've got some videos to catch up on now. Um, there's some stuff from the Cult Lords. Uh, I've got the latest uh, episode of Honya Geek is showing. Um, and also, oh, which is actually about soundtracks, so I'm really going to enjoy that one. Um, and of course, Dave Oliver, Savage Zombie Reviews, he's published a couple this week on the group, so I'm going to take a look at those. So again, thanks ever so much for joining me. I'm sorry if I'm going about 90 miles an hour, but this thing is going to click off. And if anybody's got any suggestions on a decent camcorder that won't cost the earth and doesn't require any setting up, please let me know. I'd be very grateful. Take care, folks. Have a brilliant week. Hope it warms up soon, and I will see you all again next weekend. Take care. Ta-ra.